that's how much thought I gave it. <laughs> and then, what amazed me, and look at this still. High quality, I mean, it was so dangerous that no one was allowed to walk through the zoo unless I was with them. Because cages would literally fall apart and animals would, I mean, a jaguar got out one day like that. <laughs> no, it was not a safe zoo, yet we didn't lose any people. And, um, <laughs> and I, I mean, I started it like that and what, what was so amazing was how many local people were making their way to the zoo. And I thought, what is going on here? The Western Highway, as you know it, was not there. It was half paid. This was 1983, okay? And when you got to the top road of the zoo, you still had to walk a half a mile in. I mean, you really needed to want to go there. And I still didn't get it until one day a, a very old man showed up. Um, yeah, I'd been working all day. I was tired and work, you know, really thinking I was on the wrong track. This was not going to work. And he showed up to see the animals. I thought, okay, one more person. I'll walk around with them. And it was really a late afternoon, beautiful afternoon, very golden light. And in front of every animal, this man had a weird tail. Anteaters, dreadfully dangerous because it could take your dog, force its tongue up the dog's nose, and suck out the brains. Bad news, anteater. Yes, there. Oh, and the, and the taker, that's when we, we just got April, the taker is still with us. She was really dangerous. She's going to skin you alive with that nose. Watch out. <laughs> and it was just one tail after the curacells, these lovely gallinaceous birds. Your dog eats that, your dog's dead. And this, this guy is really old, gray hair, beautiful Belizean man. And then when we got to the jaguars, they were rolling around together and just, he was just such a beautiful sight. And he broke down and cried. And I thought immediately, some, it's got to be a dog story. You know? <laughs> but it wasn't. This guy picks up his head, looks me in the face, and he said, I'm really sorry, miss, but I've lived in Belize my whole life, and this is the first time I've seen the animals in my country. And I thought, whoa, this is amazing. Now I get it. And from that point on, I was driven, and I said, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to turn this little roadside attraction into the most dynamic wildlife education facility the world has ever seen because we are wrong. We're expecting people not to destroy their natural resources when they don't know what these resources are. It's not rocket science. 